Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is the video we've all been waiting for. Here's some footage from five years ago. Oh no, what's this? Is that a cat tree? That is super gross. Ew. And what's that? That is super gross. That was my old studio from five years ago. And by the way, this is my sophomore self, by the way, going into the Catalina Landing Ferry Terminal in Long Beach. I bet you can guess by the title of this video, you know, since the coronavirus pandemic hit, um, we all can't go on vacation physically, so I thought I'd give you one virtually. So, that's what this video is going to be about. I'm making this two parts. Um, I have one attraction that I wanted to show you. I can't fit into this video, but I will put that into the next video or two, but I really don't know. Let's just continue with the video. Alright guys, so the film begins here at the terminal. Um, after you check in and you go through security, you can have a seat and there's some places to eat before you get on board. Once you, um, are, um, your boat trip is announced, you will walk down this um, gangway and you'll land right onto the uh, landing dock over here. And this is at berth number nine of the landing terminal. Berths one through eight were taken out, and uh, they've never returned. Like they were, su uh, they were supposed to return those in like 2010, but obviously that didn't happen. But we were going on board, and because of their little protocols, um, you um, have uh, even the the larger carry-ons. You put them into the baggage hold over here. Uh, smaller carry-ons like backpacks, handbags, and everything, that can go up to your seat with you. you can either, because that can fit either in the overhead locker or, well, underneath the seat in front of you. And now we're going to go ahead and hop on up into the Commodore Lounge, which is the business class option here on board. And here are our seats. There's some overhead lockers above ours, and that's why we chose to sit here. And we'll take a quick music break, and we'll be right back. accelerating and are on our way and I'm gonna cringe over this next part my voice from five years ago ew okay but that is the Catalina jet though it is their largest uh, ferry I guess and I don't even know if it's be if it's been laid up because of this pandemic but we should be getting there any minute now. And there is the Carnival Imagination is one of those fantasy class cruise ships of the Carnival Corporation. They have a terminal in Long Beach. Um, it was where the Carnival Panorama was based until the unprecedented pandemic. Um, and the imagination and the inspiration um, actually anchor right here off of Avalon and um, tender boats come out to the side and they take people to the shorelines of the island. Now, I'm going to kind of point this out, actually, but, yeah, there it is. That is um, the, um, the tender boats. Now, the Paradise served this route um, up to, like, 2010-ish or something, and so did Carnival Splendor. But then, again, it looks like the Panorama could be uh, serving this area sometime after this pandemic. Uh, once again, Carnival has suspended literally all their operations right now so um, there is no word yet on when they'll exactly be resuming the tentative date now is August but it looks like they could be pushing it back even further but we're here now yay now I muted this so that I can continue this voiceover 
Now that catamaran boat that you just saw, that I just pointed at it just a moment ago, that was a Catalina Flyer. That is a competing service that departs from Newport Beach, and that is suspended indefinitely. Um, and then you see the clear waters of the Avalon Bay compared to Long Beach that we left behind almost an hour ago. Now, I am premiering this video the exact day five years ago that I actually left for this island. So I actually shot this video five years ago today. Five years ago. So I'm so glad you guys could be able to join me on this momentous occasion. Now here's a little view from the hotel. This is now called the Holiday Inn Resorts Avalon Canyon. It's very nice, but look at that. There is a cat in the hotel. There is a cat. You can see it walking. I kind of zoomed out before the cat even started to walk away, but there was indeed a cat in the hotel. And they were doing a bunch of renovations um, at the time of uh, filming this, so um, I'm kind of pointing um, to um, other members of the group that I spotted a cat from this balcony. Nearly all the rooms have balconies here. And here is Carnival Inspiration the next day. Inspiration is Imagination Sistership. And now let's go ahead and explore the center boardwalk of Avalon. Let's take another music break. All right then, here's the deal with transportation. Most people use golf carts. And now I'm just passing up a Vons Express door. Now, as of 2020, they have replaced this with a big Vons door. So the two Vons doors were consolidated. And here is um, a little bit of the interior. And uh, I liked everything about this interior tour. The only thing I hate about it is the, the vehicle that was used during this. And you'll see why soon. So I'm going to go ahead and stop the music here. So um, in case you're wondering um, why I'm saying this, you're going to see why in a minute. But you're going to see a little bit of the interior in like just a second. And there it is, that skyline roof. But oh, here's a little bit of Little Harbor, Shark Harbor. Now if you look in the distance, that is towards the island's isthmus. And there is a little community there called Two Harbors. It is the other settlement um, on the island. And then there's this big interior space. And most of it is just zoned as wilderness preserve. So that people can um, um, explore the nature of uh, this area. Now I also got to see an area called the Airport in the Sky. But I don't have any footage from that um, for you to show you guys. I will bring that up in another video. Um, within the next few weeks while we're on the topic of um, vacation destinations and um, bring you guys virtually through this video during the coronavirus pandemic, so. But anyways, um, here comes the vehicle that was used. Like, look at this. This thing was built like, I don't know, 50 years ago and I would guarantee you that the Air Resources Board wouldn't allow it to run today. And luckily they have since switched to electric tour buses from a corporation called BYD based out of Lancaster. So, um, and they got those in like 2018, so about three years after this was filmed. And this is just me sitting on a balcony. All right, time to head on the return trip. On board Catalina Jet and let's pick it back to the music.
Okay, so um, here we are, just arriving back in the Long Beach. The imagination is back in port. And um, this is just around the seat that I was at. I didn't have time to do a proper seat review, but um, let's go ahead and hop off this ferry and um, outro this video. So this was just a few days later. Um, but once again, next uh, week's video, or hopefully the week after, I'll show you guys the other things that I did while I um, on the island. And once again, this was taken five years ago, so I'm going through all my archive footage. And I am surprised to announce that I still have all the footage that I have from that trip. So. Hopefully I'll, there will be a part two soon, but that is the Catalina Jet, and um, there is no baggage claim inside the terminal, so you gather everything once you actually come right off the ferry and you walk into the terminal and um, wait for ground transportation. Let's go ahead and outro this video and let's roll term of the week. Now the term of the week is solstice and it is either of the two times in the year, the June solstice and the December solstice, when the sun reaches either the highest or lowest points in the sky at noon. It's marked by the longest and shortest days and the start of either summer or winter depending on the location. I only chose this uh, because uh, as we speak we are actually at the June solstice and um, where I live it marks the very first day of summer and um, on the other side of the world it's the first day of winter. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and um, hit the bell, join the notification squad, and we will see you guys uh, next week.